Hello, Hi, everybody. everybody. Oh, we're so glad you come to spend yes, Friday night are. with us for the next few minutes. And we are excited to have Becca back. Yes. You remember Becca? <laughs> what an incredible yes. testimony. And yes. God is doing great things in her life. And she's got much more to share. And so tonight's devotion is called Count the Cost. Mm. So when I say count the cost, Becca, you know what that means, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Consider what it's going to cost you. You consider yeah, what it's yeah. going to cost you because that's going to affect you. Right. Exactly. It's going mm -hmm. to affect, exactly right. affect your budget. <laughs> yes. Whatever. You know, so we think about it. Do we think about it, girls, when we go shopping? Or? Yes. Okay, yes. so Jasmine, tell me about it. Oh, gosh. Something just feels good about when you can get something for a good deal that you yes. know is good quality. And then being able to go and share that with everybody. Like, hey, you will not believe what I got for this I price. Mean, we want to tell it, don't yes. we? Yes. It feels good to know that you got that at a cheaper price. you got to <laughs> share it. And Absolutely. especially when it's a good deal. Yes. I mean, you and a wanna, good piece of whatever it is. <laughs> you're going to say, girl, i got to tell you what I got <laughs> today. Right. Yeah. And so tell me some examples. Now, you, uh, Becca, you were telling me what kind of deal you get on your jeans. Yeah, I love finding my jeans on the swap sites because I can get $120 jeans for $7, $10. Wow. So, yeah. So you counted the cost because you know what they cost retail. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, they're right. good quality stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. And you know, one of my deals, you know, girls, you know that I like to shop Goodwill. I think most of the clothes we have, well, all three of these tops that we have on today is from Goodwill. Right. Yeah. And I have so much fun because they're like, some of them really top of the line clothing. Oh my goodness, for, yes. Yeah. And when they're 75% off, I can get them for a dollar. And you know, I just want to tell everybody about it. It's just so fun. But one of my best deals that, that I got, and I counted the cost, but it's a, um, I saw it on a shelf at a consignment store. And I have to have you look at it. It's been, I've carried this for a few years. <laughs> so it's actually a Louis Vuitton purse. Uh, it was oh, new, wow. it was new without tags, but it costs like, I looked it up online, it's between like $4,500 to $5,000 wow. purse that I got for $150. Oh my goodness. And it's, goodness. it's a good leather purse. And you know, and oh, I didn't, yeah, it's timeless. Too. I didn't even know what brand it was when it was on the shelf, but I just knew I liked it. <clears throat> so wow. I counted the cost because I knew what they, yeah, I heard, oh, what they retail. I didn't really yes. know until I looked it up online. I was like, wow, are you kidding oh, wow. me? But anyway, so that's that's just kind of, you know, when we get a deal like that, we want to we want to talk about it. Absolutely. We want to share it. Right. So, and I can tell you that it didn't cost me as much as it cost them. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Now, um, so Jasmine, you ever gotten a good deal on something that oh. you want to tell us about? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have. I just can't think of it this right now. This is not coming to me in this moment. <laughs> okay, but now we're going to talk about Becca right now. Yes. Becca, what do you do when you get a raw deal? Now, we like the good deals, don't we? Mm -hmm. But what do you do when you get a raw deal uh, that nearly costs you everything, including your life? And so I'm just going to let Becca, she's going to just share her story. God has done so many things mm -hmm. uh, for her, and he has just, uh, she's experiencing the true love of a father. So go ahead, girl. And um, and talk about. Good example of one of the times I really didn't, count the cost. Uh, you know, my grandma had passed away a couple years ago, and I was really struggling, hurting, and the weekend after she passed away, I decided to let myself be exposed to circumstances that led into things being taken from me that can't be replaced. Um, and when I decided to let myself be exposed to those situations, I was doing it out of sorrow and just trying to fill that void. And instead mm. of falling on my knees and calling on God and being filled back up, I ended up in a situation where I allowed so much to be taken mm. from my heart and soul that it caused me to have a lot more wounds than I'd had to begin with. Now, can I, can we delve into it a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, after your grandmother passed, mm -hmm. then there was there's a lot of times always someone going to be waiting there to maybe encourage you or, but this was a deception, wasn't it? it was. And they were even giving her scriptures. Yeah. Oh wow. And so can you tell us about what uh, you went on a journey with them? You you knew him for probably a week, right? Mm -hmm. But he seemed trustworthy. Right. He was, wow. And after having sent me scriptures and praying with me, you know, I you think that this is a person that God has put in your life to help yeah. you right, yes. during that time period. So I chose to trust him, and I ended up isolated with him. and On a boat, right, on the, in the lake? Mm -hmm. And feeling trapped, couldn't get away. Um, and he penned me down, 
And uh, there was nothing I could do. There was no way to fight, no way to get away. Oh. And the things a moment like that will take from you and mm -hmm. do to you are lasting. And now I, you know, after having those things be taken from me, the greatest thing that has happened since then is being able to allow God to remind me who I belong to. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that none of those things that have ever happened, any of the times that anything has happened, has taken any of my value. Mm -hmm. In right. his eyes, I'm just as precious. That's right. Day, That's just right. as much, if not more, mm -hmm. you know, in that pursuit of, I'm not going to let you feel lost and, and stay yes. in this mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. So, you know, hearing your story, you've, if you'll have to go back and, and listen uh, to, to the that. broadcast. Yeah. Um, if, what was the name of it? What was that? <laughs> inescapable. In inescapable. inescapable. That's okay. Right. So that very day, you were it, you felt inescapable too. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no escape. You were right. out on a lake, and he took advantage of her, mm -hmm. and it could have killed her. It was, and then it, it bothered you because you didn't report him, right? And so she wanted to be able to share. You know. Um, you don't trust everybody, right? Right. Or find yourself in that position alone, mm -hmm. you know, especially with someone you didn't really know. Right. But you know what? God has has redeemed her. But I thought yes. about this story in Luke 7, 36 and 39. Mm -hmm. um, I want Jasmine to, to tell us what was happening. Yeah. Well, this was when Jesus was doing his ministry on the earth. And one of the Pharisees had invited him to dinner at his house. So he said yes, and they're having dinner. Well, at the same time, there was a woman in the city who had heard Jesus was there. Yeah. And scripture describes her as a very immoral woman, just a sinner, you know, just not a good person, as what it said. And so she just, she felt like she had to get there. She had to get to Jesus. So she goes to this house and she shows up. And when she arrives, she brings this beautiful alabaster jar with her. It's like what we're looking at. It's yes, ancient yeah. times. That's, I mean, that's an alabaster yes, jar. Yeah. So this, I mean, it's it's gorgeous. And filled with it is this very expensive, highly, um, like something that is very, uh, what would be the right word? Um, very expensive. Yes, in that time. Like it's yeah. very, you know, good, you know, it's a big thing to have. And she has this. And she brings it, and she immediately falls at Jesus' feet, just weeping and crying. Her tears are falling over his right. feet. And the next thing, everybody around is just watching, like, what is going on? Next thing you know, she's drying his feet with her with her hair. And, you know, it just looks strange, like, what is she doing? And then she's kissing his feet. And then she takes this jar and pours this expensive perfume all over his feet. Yes. And then the Pharisee whose house this is, he's, he's talking to himself, and he's thinking, if this guy was a real prophet, he would know who this woman is and who it is that's touching yes, him. Yes. She is a sinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that did not, Jesus knew that, but that did not stop him from allowing her to come and wash his feet with her expensive, you know, her most valuable item that she had. Right. And so, uh, it's just a beautiful story. So mm -hmm. we all were sinners saved by grace, yes, right? Yes. And this is the way that we come to him. No reflection on you because we all were in the same mm -hmm. position, right? right? And um, so I love it when the Pharisee said, if he only knew who was touching him. Right. Yeah. Do you know what touch there means? It means to start a fire. Mm. It also means to leave part of oneself behind. So wow. that's what the oil did. It was wow. touching him and it was touching her. Yes. And it left that residue. And so... You know what? She counted the cost. Mm -hmm. She didn't feel, and Becca, you've expressed it in the last broadcast, how that you didn't feel your worth anymore. Right. You felt all used up, just like this lady did. Right. She felt she had nothing more of value except that alabaster right. and the, the alabaster uh, jar that was filled with that expensive, mm -hmm. extravagant oil. Yes. She, I mean, she, it was extravagant right. that she poured it on him. It was a year's wages. Nothing, you know, wow. think about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. literally a year's wages. And I want to tell you the custom, I, I just learned this today, actually. Um, it's amazing what took place, but she gave her very best. Yes. And she, 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 she surrendered all she had. So Becca, I want to stop right there. When you came to that place, because you felt all used up, you had been taken advantage of, as you heard in the last, last broadcast, she had been raped four times. Mm -hmm. And so from four different individuals, right? Mm -hmm. And so we can't even fathom that, can no. we? And so she felt her worth that she didn't have any, but when she came to Jesus, just like this woman. Tell me about that. The, the washing over of a sense of belonging, a sense mm -hmm. of being cherished wow. and mm -hmm. special, 
that I had lacked for so, wow. so long. Mm. Most of my life, to be honest. To be filled with a spirit and a hope that comes from that grace and that mercy is, there are no words really yeah, that can adequately, that's right. adequately describe it. It just, it's it took me mm -hmm. from this really dark, stormy place into a place with light and hope. It's like the difference between your coldest, deadest part of year and the, the new growth of spring. Wow, wow. <laughs> that's beautiful. It it like comes up. And we're gonna share, stay tuned, we're gonna share her, when you said spring, she has, <laughs> God has, she's discovering that she can paint and we're going to show you three <laughs> of her canvases in just a little while but i love this that you know she gave her very best and you know when you said becca when you said there aren't words this woman didn't have words either jasmine no, she did not she did it was like you know when you get to that place and you're at the feet of the king of kings and the lord of lords there's no words in english that you can even say at that moment right. and so it's when we come to him in that humble state when we are humble what is humility it's us not thinking of ourselves, but it's thinking less of ourselves. Yeah, so it's us not thinking uh, less of ourselves, but it's thinking of ourselves less. Yeah, and so that's what happens when we just we surrender our will to Him, mm -hmm. and we say, God, here it is. And you know, right. even when we feel like we don't have anything left to give, mm -hmm. I love this scripture, Luke seven forty seven through forty eight. I tell you, her sins, and they are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. Isn't that something? Yeah. Because of all the things that have happened to her. Again, we were all born and shaped into iniquity, so That's we right. had to be born again. Mm -hmm. And all the bad things that happened to you, and you found yourself in circumstances that's like, how do I get out of this? Right, right. You know, but you know... I, I love what God does. I mean, he, he rescues us mm -hmm. and he lets us know how precious we really are to mm -hmm. him. I mean, yes. it's, it's really stirred him up. It started a fire yeah. to think of it because she just bestowed so much love mm -hmm. on him. So she didn't feel, you didn't feel your worth. So she, well, she didn't feel her worth, so she gave the most expensive thing she had. Wow. That she felt, well, wow. I'm not worth it, but I've got something that has worth to it. That's right. And she gave her all. She gave what mm -hmm. cost her the most um and jesus counted her cost that's look when we come to him and we give him our all and that, that sacrifice he counts that yes, mm -hmm. he does. and it was like and he gives us what we have need of she gave her very best and so i want to tell you about the alabaster during biblical times when a young woman was of age to be married her family would buy an alabaster box or a jar and uh they would fill it with expensive ointment and seal it for the most special occasion of her life. Um, when a man would ask her to marry him, she would respond by breaking this special box or jar and rub it on his feet to show oh, wow. honor and submission. Isn't that wow. something? Yeah. So, I mean, it's incredible. So an alabaster was sealed. She couldn't just go in and, and just put a little bit of it on her, you know, like right. perfume. But it was sealed mm -hmm. until the day of her proposal. And so that's when we come to him. She had to come mm -hmm. to him, though. That's right. Yes, she did. And so, an alab so will you come, when, when we say, God, Jesus, will you come into my heart? I repent of all my sins. Mm -hmm. Will you come into my heart? Will you abide with me? And so there was no more shame. After, you know, after he set her free and forgave her mm -hmm. of her sins, um, what about, you know, let me ask you this. What about when you have no expensive oil to rub on Jesus' feet? Okay, mm -hmm. now she had something, but what about when you, have, when you feel you have nothing? Mm -hmm. Tell me about it, Becca. What do you do? fall to your knees and you give him your heart you give him yourself you that's give him what your he heart. wants that's right he wants you and i love this mm -hmm. verse second timothy 2 and 15. do your best to present yourself to god as one approved a worker who has no need to be ashamed rightly handling the word of truth when i read this today it hit me okay when he says do your best to present yourself we give him our all that's even right. when we don't feel we have anything to mm -hmm. give him we give him ourselves that's yes. all he wants he wants us and when it said, um, rightly handling the word of truth, who is the word? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is the word. And let me tell you something. She rightly handled him when she began to wash, her, wash his feet with her tears. Yes. She dried him with her hair and then she anointed them with oil. She rightly handled the word of God. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. So she handled 
the word. Yes. And that's all, that's what he wants us to do is just come to his feet. Just let those tears begin to flow and you'll you'll feel your worth, won't you? Yes. Yeah, so, you will. Tell, you tell will. us loud and strong. Tell me about how you feel now. He gave he gave her his best, right? His yeah. love. And when I was telling Rick about this uh, devotion and he immediately said this, just came out, he says, no matter what it cost us, it's less than what it cost him. Wow. wow. And so, yeah. Becca, I want you to just share with, you know, where you at now. I want to show you, mm -hmm. uh, she's expressing her, where she's feeling yeah. at now. And, and, I mean, she's put a, this is her, like her night scene and, you know. Um, yeah, she painted the calm, all of these. Yeah, the stillness. Tell, tell yes. us about this one. Um, this was the very first painting that I ever did. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's sure. You can handle it. Um, let him see it. Yeah. At, at the, go. Sorry. No, you're good. At the time that I did it, I did not even know that I had an artistic bone in my body. Wow. Um, <laughs> tried it and thought, well, that's, that's not too bad. I kind of like it. So So you went for the second one. Went for right. the second one. Look at and this. <laughs> thought, oh my goodness, I actually, wow. Okay, God <laughs> is showing me that I actually have some talent, talent in my yes. bones here. And I'm she's got say. some... She's got some happy trees going on here. Oh, if you yeah. look really up close, nice she's done very well. The happy trees. <laughs> and that rock there is, it represents like the place you want to set, right? Yeah, that's mm. uh, when I was painting this particular one, that rock is where I imagined wanting to sit when I would pray and talk to God. Wow. And so this is after she's experienced her worth, yes. after she's given, given Jesus her all. Yeah. And so now this is her waterfall. Look, look at her that. happy trees. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> I'm hiding your face. No, you're fine. <laughs> but it just, it thrills me because, I mean, she's uncovering this talent yeah. that she didn't know she had. And so, I mean, it's just beautiful. So, you know, Becca, I, I want you just to share, you know, where you're at now because, you know, we've, it's been a couple weeks now. Mm -hmm. And so where are you at in your walk with God? What are you feeling? What are you experiencing? I'm, I'm feeling every day a new part of me awakening, a new part mm -hmm. of what I didn't feel like I could deserve seems... And I am so much more confident in the fact that it is mine to claim. Yeah, that that's God's right. Wow. It is yeah. mine to claim. Yes. That I have a place always where I spent so much of my life searching for a place to belong. I always had one. I just didn't know it. And now mm. that I do, yes. the acceptance of that every day, yes. the joy that comes <laughs> from that right. every day, and, and letting that continue to grow. That's right. Wow. You know, continuing to do my devotions, to read my yes. Bible, mm. to do my lessons and act when God speaks that little whisper, hey, you you see somebody that needs your help, stop mm, and help. That's good. And in that little moment, there's so much joy. And you can find little clues from those people as you're helping them too that lets you know why God stopped you. That's yeah. right. You know? yeah. and, and you don't always get it, but man, when you do, there's like, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, God, that for awesome? using me like that. That's right. And so God used the woman yes. at his feet. I mean, she felt that prompting mm -hmm. and she gave of herself. Right. And so when God deals with us to give of ourselves, look, we're the most fulfilled when we're serving a cause greater than ourselves and yes. when we're helping That's somebody true. else. So now yes. when God has pulled us out of the pit, out of the fire, you know, of the enemy. So what does he do? He helps. He he uses us to pull other people out. So you know what? We want to pray with you today. And I just want you to repeat this after me because, you know, sometimes we have to we have to declare it and then share it. Okay. Right. <laughs> and so I want you if you just extend your hand. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Just extend your hand because you're saying, God, here it is. Here's what I have. I give you my all. Just like Becca, you had to come to him. You had to come to his feet, girl. You had to make that move when you felt him draw at your heart. Yes. And, th and then those tears began to fall. And you began to wash his feet with your hair, and you know, mm. so to speak. And then you experienced your worth. Yes, I yes. love it. And what an over, what a bath of his love. Mm, yeah. So I want you to, if you would pray with us. Father, mm. I just thank you, Jesus. God, for those listening that did not feel their worth. That God, that you would just raise them up from where they are. God, as you are pulling them to you right now. Oh, Father, shower them with your love in Jesus' name. Now I want you to repeat this. I want you to say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I release all the cares. I release all the cares. From my life. From my life. And I ask that you would come into my heart. And I ask that you would come into my heart. 
Fill me so full of your love that it overflows onto others. I accept your love for me. I accept your love for me. From this day forward, from this day forward, I will live love. I will live love. And I will accept my worth. And I will accept and my, my worth. value. And my value to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We love you today, yes, and do. look, God is doing great things in your yes. life. And let me tell you something. This is the first day of the rest of your mm. life. You claim it, you declare it, and you share it in Jesus' name. We love you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>